how does relaxation of the core musculature help to keep us clean and dry? Let's look at a balloon and, it, and equate it with the muscles of the trunk. The hole at the bottom represents the anus and the urethra, which are two holes that we ha all have um, where stool and urine exit the body. And the rest of the balloon represents the muscles of our core. Ignore the fingers which includes four different groups of muscles which give our trunk stability and strength, uh, as well as manage pressures in our abdomen. The diaphragm is a muscle that sits at the top of our abdomen and above our stomach, with the lungs sitting above the diaphragm where my face is. The diaphragm domes up when relaxed, and when it contracts, it pulls down and assists the lungs to expand with air. But think about what happens in the abdomen below it as the breath is taken. As the diaphragm pulls down to assist with inhalation, the pressure in the abdomen increases as, and things inside of the abdomen get squished. The muscles of the pelvic floor sit at the bottom of the core and are what support our abdominal and pelvic organs and keep stool and urine and gas inside. The muscles of the pelvic floor typically work in synchrony with the diaphragm which is why breathing is such an important part of pelvic floor therapy. As you inhale and the diaphragm pulls down, the pelvic floor muscles slightly relax and shift down to accommodate for the increased pressure in the abdomen. This helps prevent the leakage of stool or urine at the bottom. So as the diaphragm pulls down, the, the pelvic floor muscles pull down. The abdominal muscles and the back muscles are like the sides of the balloon wrapping all the way around back to front. Those are the muscles that make up our core. As the muscles of the core contract and tighten, the pressure within the balloon increases. Eventually, if that pressure increases enough, the air will want to escape through the hole at the bottom, and if it can't, the balloon wants to burst. Similarly, if our core muscles are clenched too tight for too long, and the pressure within our abdomen increases, and that may create too much challenge for the pelvic floor to stay tight to keep everything inside. Eventually, the pelvic floor can get tired or give way and lead to leakage. Another possibility is that the muscles of the core remain too tight, and because of that, the motility within the intestine is slowed because of the limited movement in our abdomen. If the muscles in our abdomen remain too tight for too long, they restri restrict the movement our intestines are able to typically create, which is peristalsis, and that process can slow down or stop because there's too much pressure on the abdomen, and then food won't be able to progress through the intestinal tract. This slowed peristalsis process can lead to slower digestion and increased water absorption from the bowels. When increased water is absorbed from the bowels, the stool that's moving through the bowels becomes drier and harder, which can lead to further constipation symptoms.